Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the derivation of expression for the resonating frequency in circular waveguide. So, in the previous video, we have seen the derivation of rectangular waveguide, the der derivation of the resonant frequency in rectangular waveguides, nothing but rectangular cavity resonators. Now, we are going to discuss about the resonating, resonating frequency calculation in circular cavity resonators. So, circular cavity resonator is also nothing but just we are taking a circular waveguide that circular waveguide is closed on either ends this is closed here and this is closed here and a small hole is there to make the signal to pass through okay so whenever the signal going through this one it uh, go in the forward direction and again coming back it goes and in the in this direction again reflected back so because of this number of reflections it forms a resonating condition so such type of waveform will be having a resonant frequency okay whatever the waveguide it is a rectangular waveguide or a circular waveguide definitely uh, they will be having a resonating condition when it, the either ends of that particular waveguide is being closed okay so now we are going to calculate what is the amount of resonating frequency in the case of circular waveguide so we know this derivation we know this uh, uh, equation like uh, we know that h square is equal to gamma square plus omega square mu epsilon h square is equal to gamma square plus omega square mu epsilon what is gamma what is gamma here where gamma or gamma is equal to alpha plus j beta alpha plus j beta what is gamma gamma is nothing but a propagation constant gamma is propagation constant alpha is attenuation constant attenuation constant and beta is phase constant beta is nothing but phase constant okay so propagation constant is depending on the sum of attenuation constant and as well as phase constant attenuation constant refers to the signal when the same refers to no signal okay and phase constant is nothing but when the signal is being traveled then that refers to a phase constant okay so gamma is equal to alpha plus j beta but whenever we are talking about the resonant condition the signal is being traveled inside the waveguide and there is no chance of attenuation so what about the alpha so alpha is equal to zero in our case and beta is a non-zero value because phase constant is there the signal will be taking lot of reflections inside the cavity so definitely there will be a phase constant now gamma is equal to it simply j beta so gamma square is equal to minus beta square gamma square is equal to j square beta square minus 1 into beta square so minus beta square now h square is equal to omega square mu epsilon minus beta square okay from this equation okay from equation one you can write it here from equation one okay so condition for the resonance yet resonant frequency f is equal to fr or omega is equal to omega r and beta is equal to p pi by d beta is equal to p pi by d so generally beta is uh, a phase constant what is the amount of phase that is shifted in the uh, waveguide at a particular distance d 
okay so let us consider p pi radians will be the phase shift at a distance of d so p pi by d so this happens it's a conventional method or a general method to represent a phase constant at a resonant frequency f r so uh, from that a previous equation h square is equal to omega square mu epsilon minus sorry minus beta square so that is equal to omega r square mu epsilon minus this p pi by d whole square okay so keep whatever we need keep on the left hand side so omega r square mu epsilon we need omega r nothing but f r is equal to h square plus p pi by d whole square and omega r is equal to omega r square is equal to 1 by mu epsilon h square plus p pi by d whole square okay next omega r is equal to 1 by root over mu epsilon into here root of h square plus p pi by d whole square again anything uh, what is a omega r omega r is nothing but 2 pi r so 2 pi f r is equal to 1 by root of mu epsilon into root of h square plus p pi by d whole square okay so what we need resonant frequency of r so 1 by 2 pi root mu epsilon into square root of h square plus p pi by d whole square so we can write this as c by 2 pi root of h square plus p pi by d whole square okay since c is equal to 1 by root mu epsilon c is equal to 1 by root mu epsilon okay so this is the resonant frequency of circular cavity resonator this is f r Okay, this is for, for circular cavity resonator, circular cavity resonator. Um, for, we know the value of H for TE and TM. Let us consider for TM mode. For TM mode, H is equal to PNM by A. H is equal to PNM by A. Then, the resonant frequency FR is equal to C by 2 pi root of H square plus P pi by D whole square. So, PNM by a whole square plus p pi by d whole square this is the resonant frequency of cavity resonator for tm mode similarly for te mode h is equal to p dash nm by a p dash n m by a then the resonant frequency f r is equal to c by 2 pi same root of p dash n m h square is nothing but now for t e it is p dash n m by a whole square plus p pi by d 
whole square okay this is the resonant frequency in te mode and this is the resonant frequency in tm mode see for a rectangular cavity resonator just i am recalling that equation rectangular cavity resonator Resonant frequency FR is equal to C by 2 square root of otherwise you can write it as C by 2 pi M pi by A whole square plus N pi by B whole square plus P pi by D whole square. If you want to take this pi common and cancel with this, then it becomes C by 2 root of M by A whole square plus N by B whole square plus P by D whole square. This is the expression for resonator, cavity resonator, rectangular cavity resonators resonating frequency. Okay, and the previous ones are resonating frequencies in the circular cavity resonator. Okay. Thank you.